So, you know, what I'm saying, I'm going to start at the bottom, but I can't really start at the bottom. This is, after all, an Alexander lesson, how that you can't just start at the bottom. I'm going to try to get to the bottom, but i got to start at the top. So, maybe you don't always teach the seven postures, and the way I was going to do it, maybe you start at the top. Maybe we're going to start at the top. Instead, work our way down. It's just easier to start at the bottom, but Gary knows about Alexander, so I gotta get him Alexander Rational. I gotta get him. It's gonna be easy to get Gary going, even though we've never, he and I have never done this long meditation cushion, or not for many years. Not for many years, but we've been. Doing Alexander lessons, so Gary is ready. So I'm just gonna tell Gary, I'm gonna tell you. Here's how to meditate. Here's the secret. The secret is right now you are backing up into your cave. Everything you do is a backing up into your cave. And you got to shift to a dynamic where everything you do is peeking out of the cave, going forward. Right now, all you know is going backwards. All you know is how to back up and hide. And, and in meditation, we, the thing you gotta learn is just have a little backing up a little. I gotta learn how to go forward a little. So uh, that's basically, in terms of posture, in terms of upper body, lower body too. And, but also maybe we're a little collapsed in front. That's part of that backing up. That's part of building that cave. It's collapsed in front to make your cave. You hid your heart. Your heart should be just like a lump of raw meat hanging out there. Just Trump Richard says your heart is like a cervix. Your heart is like a cervix. But you can't handle the truth. You can't handle that much wet love and tenderness and beauty you can't handle the heart being that vulnerable that tender so you collapse this old cage and you hide your heart but meditation we do. our goal is a soft open front and a strong back be very easy to do this the wrong way. It'd be very easy to, to just make this a stiffening project, but it's not a stiffening project. You can't make it a stiffening project. So, you know, maybe the more emphasis is on the nice open front in a way, but that gives you an option for a strong back that ain't stiff. I don't know how you're going to figure it out. I don't know how I'm going to figure it out. I best open my front and just let my back lengthen in the back and not try to think I'm big strong. But just discover. But I'll tell you how you're going to discover that is when you go a little forward. By, by going backwards, you're never going to discover that. But you can't just like think you can arch your back and discover it either, man. Arching your back is is what you need to do. But if you try to arch your back, you're screwed. It's got to be a release. That's why I'm going to get into the lower part and teach you this release. There's a release. Your hips release backwards. It's like you're a dog, and right now you're a dog with a tail between his legs, and he just cannot find confidence. Confidence. You're just a dog that's been kicked, and... Confidence is nowhere near you. You're just a kick dog right now, but somehow I gotta teach you. You gotta learn. You got to 
to learn to be like a little geisha girl in your hips, man. You just got to learn to walk around like a little geisha girl. <laughs> just walk around like a little geisha girl all the time. Just spend your life walking around like a little geisha girl and get your hips free. And let them release back. That's it. The biggest shock I ever had in my entire life was when I went to the tea ceremony that Mrs. Shabbat, I was a student of tea with Mrs. Shabbat, and I go with a Nadia, let's go to Kyoto with Mrs. Shibata and we go to her tea school and we go to her tea house and they all think we're great and then this girl gets up and serves tea and the, her behind moved like two feet that way and two feet that way when she walked and I just I wanted to fall over and die. I was some kind of crazy affectation of insanity. But she was showing us the truth. So it's all about meditation is all about draw law above aggression. What does that mean? Prophet Rimshe says. What it means is your head is not in conflict with your shoulders. Good head and shoulders. He says, most important thing for a warrior is good head and shoulders. I've been teaching Gary Alexander technique, which is basically what it's saying is know, know thyself. But now we're ignorant of ourselves. Our necks are tense and we don't know what this is. A disaster. This is what we mean by being a piece of wood. Your neck is tense and you don't know what that means. You're a piece of wood. You have no other options. You have no option but to be a piece of wood. But if you know your neck is tight, you can release it. That is some healthy little information. That's what you call draw. Draw is my neck's a little tight, but I could release it. Just a thought of ease. Just a thought of draw above aggression. Just a thought of heaven. That heaven wants me to go to heaven. Heaven wants me to be like heaven. Heaven wants me to be above aggression. But then at the same time, what we might do is discover. Maybe it's very advanced. Maybe this is not the moment, but I don't have all week. What if we just went forward a little bit while we're doing all that other stuff? And let the, let the ease from the head lead it. That's the whole secret. If the ease from the head leads us, but what if we just went a little forward? This is going to open up some possibilities, which is why that thing's got to be lower than that. So we can, if that's not lower than that, you can't, you got no chance of discovering what I'm trying to teach you. So, you say something, Gary. What does that feel like to you? Different. Mm -hmm. Different than, than what it normally feels like. Kind of subtle. Forward. Man. More forward than I usually am. It's a little subtle. And uh, I don't know, you know, it's, it's because it's new in terms of uh, the inner sensations of uh, my hips and my spine and uh, my uh, thigh muscles. I, I, I'm aware of all of the sort of uh, adjustments that are taking place while you are, you know, doing this guiding. Can you see that where the benefits of, of, even if you did this 10 minutes a day at the beginning of your meditation session, there's a lot you can learn from this Gamden. There are, there are little, um, <clears throat> there are little moments of uh, ease, little, little tiny moments of ease. You know, I'm, I'm more used to feeling 
strain, you know, like in my back or in my thigh muscles or whatever, but there are little interspi interspersed moments of, of ease in that that are uh, interesting. You know, you allow myself to be curious about those. Yes, that's it. But even uh, even when you find that you're holding on, it's probably interesting too. It's they're they're part of the same process, really. Yeah, you can be holding on in one part of your body and, and feeling ease in another part at the same time. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna rest, but keep working. I'm gonna give myself a tiny little break and just do it by talking. Uh, Seven points of posture. I don't know. Shit. I, I'm going to go from the bottom. I'm going to go from the bottom now. Okay. So, legs are crossed, but it's very relaxed the way our legs are crossed. We're not trying to get into full lotus here, but it's very, that's a very relaxed way to sit, right? I mean, you can get comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my... Uh ankles have to get my my left ankle has to get used to to this it's it's pressed in a little different way than it normally yeah. is because my right leg is resting on that left heel but you could twitch that around you know you can move change things around yes yeah, and and it would it would it would come out pretty yeah. easy if you sometimes, did this sometimes you know i put that left foot out in front just to relax it a little bit yeah you, know, you can do all kind of back. things yeah, but they'll also, your ankles will. Okay, the next point I'm going to go into, which is a subtle point, and it might be difficult. It might take, it took me 20, 30 years to really understand this. But if you know about it, it might take you, you know, only a third as long. Or, you know, you may, nobody, people may never find, make this point, but it's, it's critical. I believe, and this is what Trump Rinpoche said. He said this exactly. There is only one point on that gamdan that is really the center of your seat. So the the words or the instruction is, you know, legs crossed loosely, find the center of your seat. There's kind of two aspects of this. There's a kind of an inner aspect and an outer aspect. And probably most people would ignore the outer aspect. And, and until you get into the inner, maybe it, it's most people sit too far forward in, a, in an attempt to do the right thing and go for it. But not really. A lot of people sit too far back. They're, they're hiding in their caves and that's very good. Uh, support for our cave hiding is to sit a little bit too far back a little too eager or trying to make some progress but it's almost like cheating a little bit to sit too far forward but what you really want to do is find the center and not too far forward and not too far back i think you're a little too far forward gary even though it's giving you a lot of goodies you're cheating a little bit but whatever we won't go <laughs> we won't go into that <laughs> You're, eh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just, but I'm saying there's a possibility you figure it out later. You may be, you may be just right. It was looking good. Maybe I'm done you wrong. But anyway, experiment just that much forward, that much back. Yeah, these experiment are, just tiniest bit forward, tiniest bit back, and find the center. It's this not is hard. this is really important in my uh, estimation. Is that these are um, micro adjustments and uh, it's it's real interesting because at a sharper level of awareness than we normally uh, have because normally we're distracted by all of the stuff that's going on but when we when we bring that focus inward to finding that center. Time out. 